The Great Gatsby is a beautiful portrayal of a 1920s love story involving a man named Gatsby and a woman named Daisy. From what's told in this story, these two have previously met years ago and fell in love, but they couldn't get married due to Gatsby's social class. Then Gatsby dictates his life to becoming wealthy and throwing extravagant parties so that he could one day marry Daisy. However, Daisy had already married another man by then. Gatsby believed that despite everything, despite Daisy's marriage to Tom, their love could still survive, that all will be well and they'll live happily together. He refused to believe Daisy once she told him that she was still in love with Tom, because he wanted to hang on to that hope, that green light was all he had, even till his last moments. I would argue that Gatsby didn't really love Daisy. He loved what she represented, the ideal, wealthy, golden girl who was unobtainable. That's why he so desperately wanted to believe that she never loved any other man, including her husband, other than him. That's why he also worked so hard to become rich, not only to get her for himself, but to be accepted by high society. Gatsby knew Daisy was married and had a child, but he did his best to ignore that. He didn't want to see or accept anything that would ruin his dream. As Nick said, you can't repeat the past. But Gatsby stubbornly insisted and pursued this fantasy that has sustained him for years. The problem was, Nick was right. Gatsby's inability to accept reality ultimately sealed his fate. Daisy loved both Tom and Gatsby. She believed in Gatsby's hope for a moment, but at the end, she realized that she and Gatsby could never be together due to his social class. This idea of social class was all over the story. From the beginning till the end, it's what everyone in the story cared about, including Gatsby. The reason why Gatsby had his fit of rage that revealed a darker side to him was the issue of social class. When Tom says that all of them were born different from him, that triggers Gatsby because he knew that no matter what, no matter how much he works to get that recognition, people like Tom would never accept him. Gatsby was born poor and ashamed of being poor, and he carried that shame with him all the way through adulthood. Then why do so many people hate Daisy? Well, Daisy loved both Tom and Gatsby. She believed in Gatsby's hope for a moment, but at the end, she realized that she and Gatsby could never be together. She had a child with Tom, and she was willing to stay in an unhappy marriage for their child, but also due to his social class. Tom was confident that Daisy would never leave him, because he knew that Gatsby represented the new rich, a group who have made their fortunes too recently to have established social connections and who are prone to garish displays of wealth. But him and Daisy were from upper-class old money families. In conclusion, do I hate Daisy? Honestly, I can say that I see both sides. What I liked about the story is that every character was flawed. They had the good and the bad. Gatsby and Daisy and Nick and Tom all were real and flawed. I give this movie an 8. This movie was just very aesthetically pleasing. It's a beautiful love story, even if the ending wasn't as beautiful. Thank you for watching. 
subscribe if you want, like this video if you want, and I'll see you whenever I'll see you.